Hi everyone, it's Budget Bunny here with your November guinea pig cage tour. As you can see, the decorations for Halloween are still up, but we will be switching over to our holiday theme in the next couple of days. My guinea pigs do live in a 2x5 CNC cage. We used Coroplast as the base, uh, the NIC storage grids that you can get at places like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, and Lowe's for the outer structure. And then we bordered it all with plexiglass to give it a more open field. And especially because it's on top of my rabbit's cages and I'm short, uh, this way I, could, I can see them better, especially when they're on the top levels. So like I said, the bottom level is 2x5 and the upper level is basically like a 1x5, but then they also have the 2x2 two two kitchen. Um, so they've got lots of space. There's two male guinea pigs housed in this cage. Alright, so in the far right corner of the cage, we have a small pet bed from the dollar store. We have a stunkle sack that I made. Then we also have some hanging baby chew toys that were from the dollar store, as well as a wooden and sizal rope chew. So just in front of these, we have a few different toys. The first thing we have is this wooden carrot chew. They have this adorable wooden caterpillar, which I believe is from the Boredom Breakers line. They have this little wooden block that came with our Stephanie's Pet Care Contest prizes that we won a few months ago. And they also have this little blue jingle bell which kind of matches the blue theme we have going on in the cage right now. Just on the very back of the wall there we have three water bottles. And in front of that they have a hanging veggie ball as well as a suet holder. These are actually for um, those suet blocks that you put outside for wild birds but they work great to hold veggies in as well and they're a great boredom breaker because they both of these things make your um, small pets work for their food. And I've also thrown in this other chew toy that we won from Stephanie's Pet Cares Contest a few months back. This is a hot nibble and squeak product. As you can see, Willow really liked this toy, so I decided to try it with the guinea pigs, and Finny's actually already been nibbling on it. Just a few of the other toys we have in the cage include this Java Wood Chew. These uh, can actually be found in the bird section, but they are safe for small animals as well, and they're actually quite a bit cheaper than purchasing things like willow products. They have an all-natural pine comb, which has already been nibbled on, and they also have one of these watermelon slices, which it can has been nibbled on quite a bit. I find my guys actually really like wood chews, which is great. Alright, so just kind of in the middle of the cage is the ramp that goes up to their second level. But, if we go underneath here, we will find a little fiddlesticks log house. There's one of those giant tiger absorbent um, dishwashing pads right here. As well as their, I think it's a super pet um, tree trunk house. This is a small pet bed that I've made them in the little butterfly print as well as this little waterproof pad underneath because this is the area that they really like to poop and pee in. And if we continue up to the second level, in the back they have their hay sack. Um, again it is the same one because I've been trying to find a different material for the inside and I finally come across it so I'm going to be trying to perfect the pattern in the next couple weeks so that it can be something that we stock in the shop. Again, I have another one of those um, dishwashing absorbent pads right here. I've just got another little cuddle sack right there. And these are the food dishes I'm using right now. I always have a ton of food dishes. Um, these ones I think I got at Target back in the summer. I believe they were about 99 cents. So I've got two of them. I just liked the kind of boy theme. And the other one is just here in the corner because otherwise they will fight over it. So this is the very top level of the cage. So you can see Sammy's hogging the corner spot. They always like that spot for sleeping. So Sammy is 
totally vegged out. I think Finney's a little put out. Um, but anyways, all that is is a little stool from the dollar store. But it just makes them feel nice and safe and secure because it's got a top to it. But then I can see them easily because it's open on all four sides. That's also great if your piggies fight a lot because it only costs a dollar or two. But then they have escape routes so one piggy can't block the other one. And just running along the whole back of this level, we also have a living world tunnel. And these guys absolutely love their tunnel. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, so cute. Oh, that's so cute. See, before I wouldn't be able to see this because this used to be like a black um, foam board. That's why we made it clear so we could see the upper level. That is so cute. Snuggly piggies. So I'll just give you a brief overview here of their cage. I do keep my guinea pigs on fleece. I just prefer fleece better. Um, the piggies like it better. It's a lot cheaper than having to fill a cage this size with bedding. But when we go on holidays, I do put them on bedding. It's just a little easier. Alright guys, so that is our November guinea pig cage tour. Like I said, the guinea pigs live in a 2x5 CNC cage. Plenty of space for two piggies. The minimum cage you should have for two guinea pigs is a 2x4, but males should always have more space. As a general rule, they tend to fight a little more and they can be a little more um, territorial, so this gives them a little more space to get away from each other. And that's also why I had added kind of that mid-level and the top level. Um, my boys, for the most part, get along really, really well, but they do have their spats. And I just feel like when that happens, the extra space is um, it's really beneficial because I'll have one hiding in that top corner of the cage and then one on the lower level in the absolute opposite corner. Um, but overall, they get along really, really well, and I absolutely love this DIY cage. Um, just on a sadder note, I wanted to let you guys know that Chandler passed away this morning. Um, so there's not going to be a November hamster cage tour. We aren't sure what happened. This has come as a complete shock to us. Um, he was fine. I didn't see him last night. We went to bed a little early and he wasn't up yet. But the night before, we had him out snuggling with us. And as you guys know, we only got him in January or February. So he wasn't even a year old yet. And um, yeah, so I just wanted you guys to know... Um, that Chandler's pass to the Rainbow Bridge. We're just as shocked as you guys all are. Um, I wanted to send out my condolences to everyone who's lost a little furry friend recently. I know there's quite a few of us now that have kind of lost hamsters too young and quite a lot of people who have just lost, you know, a, a loved one or pet overall in the last month or so so my heart goes out to all of you I know how much it hurts um, and yeah I think um, I think I just wanted to also thank everyone who is on our Instagram and Facebook page for all your lovely words of comfort um, you know it's been a hard time with Ella right now uh, so this was just really heartbreaking for me to come in here this morning and um, plan on filming a cage tour and finding Chandler so um, he's at peace and he didn't suffer and um, yeah so anyways you guys can stay tuned for our rabbit cage tours I will have a holiday room tour up soon and I hope otherwise you guys are all looking forward to the holiday season because I know that I am thanks for watching bye